guys, what's going on? I am going to show you guys, as promised, how to add that widget for the new home source professional um, site onto your website. So in the long run, just want to show you really quick what it's supposed to look like. Um, this is my website where we have the new home source um, widget already put in. So this is what it's going to look like. It's going to allow them to come right here and um, search for the property that they're looking for, or the city they're looking for, for any of the new construction. Um, and then when they hit search, it's going to then redirect them over to your new home source professional site. But you at least have this widget set up for them um, on your website. So let me show you really quick how to do that. So going back to your new home source professional site, so again, that is newhomesourceprofessional.com forward slash kw dash dallas dash central. So make sure that you put that in. Um, you log in to your site. Right here where it says, welcome Mariana, you're going to hover over that. It's going to have your name instead of mine. And drop down to where it says widgets. So this is where we were at last time and having issues. Um, talk to New Home Source Professional to see what exactly we were doing wrong. In the video, they told us to do the HTML widget, but you actually, for our Playster website, need to use the iframe widget. So all you're gonna do is just select the type, select iframe widget. It's gonna give you a much smaller um, link for you to copy and paste over. So you're gonna do just that. You're gonna copy it. So I'm literally copying. And then you're gonna head back over into your Playster site. Um, let me start this from scratch. You guys know exactly where to go. I'm gonna go into the MyKW internet first. I'm gonna hover over technology, drop down to where it says KW websites. Then go to my website. This is your back agent for your Playster website. May ask you to log in again, that's okay. This is just going to be your, um, your Keller Williams, your MyKW login, so just log into that. If for some reason it had um, a Playster site asking you to log in, um, let me know if that's a problem. You may need to clear some cookies. Um, I know we had that problem in the class, but you should just have a KW login. Okay, so once we're in the Playster back agent, you're gonna go on the left-hand side, you'll, you'll see where it says edit site. Click on that. Then you're going to click on pages. This is right here. And I already have one created, but I'll go ahead and create a new one um, so you guys can see that process. So basically you're gonna hit this little plus sign right here next to pages. And the template that we want, we still want the about page because that's gonna give you more of a body text for you to be able to um, add some content to. So make sure you do the about page. And then your page title, this is going to be, you can see right here on the page title, mine is search new construction homes. This is also when you add it as a drop down, what it's going to look like as well. So when you're naming your, your title page, your page title, go ahead and keep that in mind. So you may put new construction homes, or you can do search new construction, um, whatever you guys want to do, um, but make sure you do title it. And you can also see that's going to give you the slug, which is just basically the um, URL for direct that takes them directly to that page. It is going to change that there as well. So in the body context, again, we're gonna click on these little carrots. So the little carrot dash closing carrot. Click on that where it says view HTML. You're going to paste that text that we just copied from the widget text. So going back into new home source professional, I'm copying this and pasting it right over into this box here. Once you do that and hit update, you're gonna get this pretty looking blue boxed um, search engine widget. And so you should be good to go. It should look just like this. And then you're going to, if you wanna add this page to my menu, you can go ahead and click that. I'm gonna show you um, what that means and um, why you need to click this. So make sure you do add this page to your menu. And you're gonna hit save. 
So it was telling me that it was added to my menu. Then it's gonna take you to the menu configuration. So basically what this is, is just how you wanna lay out your pages. So you can see that some of my pages are underneath others. What that means is if I were to hover on my about, I have all of these drop down options underneath the about tab. So basically you're just setting those pages underneath um, the main page. So because you added it, it's gonna be down at the bottom right here where it says new construction homes. You can leave it right there. If you did that, it's just gonna pop up on the um, end of your, I guess your tab or your tabs up at the top right um, side of your website. But if you wanted to set that underneath something like we have it set under our listing search right here, then you would just come in, I'm holding it down and I'm dragging it to where I want it to go. So I'm gonna take it, if you wanted it under, we've got a listing search um, page. And so if I want it underneath that, you're just gonna hover over listing search and it's going to actually, you can see where it's indented. So it's going to put it underneath that listing search. So once I do that and I hit save, when I go back to my website and refresh the page, you can see when I hover over listing search where I've got new construction homes at. So now when I click on that, your widget should be there. It should be working and it should look pretty this time. So hopefully that solves everything. If you guys have any other questions, just reach back out to me. I'm happy to um, put this in for you. If you want to set up a time for a one-on-one -on -one, or you can always do so at Genius Bar. Let me know guys if you need anything else. All right, bye.